This is Echo 3 for Let's Discuss Airplanes. I pieced together a little box wing airplane using the Mark 1 parts and a Juno engine, making sure I kept my center of mass over the fuel tank and that it stays in front of my center of lift. Takeoff is a gentle process. I'm using a tricycle arrangement for the gear with the rear set a little behind the center of mass. As I near takeoff speed, I will gently begin to pitch up. Pitching up too hard will result in the back of my plane striking the runway, with predictably exciting results. Once I've gained enough altitude and speed, I raise the gear and begin heading towards my destination. In this case, that is the island airfield. Nearing my cruising altitude, I can set the trim function to keep the aircraft stable in flight. The default keys on a PC are ALT and the direction key like WASD. In this case, I'm only adjusting pitch. With a single prop airplane, that may include adjusting yaw and roll as well to keep the aircraft stable. The physical time warp makes the trip a little faster. When physical time warp is not the default, it can still be used by pressing ALT and the period or comma keys. Landings can be a little tricky. I'm going to line up with my runway while still several kilometers away. I'm using my air brakes to help reduce my speed. In addition to the horizontal velocity, I also need to watch my vertical velocity using the gauge at the top of the screen. The space shuttle would land with a one meter per second rate of descent. The island airfield has a short runway and this plane will need all of it to slow to a stop. I like to slightly increase the braking strength and disable the steering on my rear landing gear. It is also helpful to sometimes reduce the friction on the front landing gear as well to help keep the plane a little bit more stable as it takes off and lands. And that's it! A safe landing of a little box wing airplane.